What's up everyone, it's just Blyzite now and today's video I'm going to be showing you the best class set up for the Grease Gun in Call of Duty World War 2. The Grease Gun is a very underused gun in this game, it actually is really powerful when you get the setup right and the play style. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that now, so let's get into it. Now, the division that we're going to be using is going to be the Airborne Division. The reason for that is obviously it gives us the ability to have a suppressor. But more importantly than that, it just helps us run faster for longer. So that's the main reason for it. The suppressor is a bonus as well, because as you'll see in this video, I do use it. Um, and it's really useful, obviously, because when you're firing your bullets, you're not going to get popping up on the enemy radar, slash minimap, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, let's get into the class setup. So the attachments we're going to go for on this is going to be the rapid fire which is going to increase the fire rate because the fire rate is the probably the biggest downside to this gun is the fire rate. Um, by the way don't worry about this bad start to this game I do go on a big kill streak in a minute so don't worry the whole game isn't this bad. Anyway as I was saying the attachments we're going to go for is going to be rapid fire and the other one we're going to go with is going to be steady aim steady aims just to control the spread of our bullets with rapid fire obviously accuracy is going to suffer a bit so we're going to counterbalance that with steady aim so we can fire off the hip and be just as accurate as we would be if we didn't have rapid fire on so that's going to be a real big help to us <clears throat> The basic training that I've gone for on this gun is just requisition, simply because it means that you can play aggressively, not worry about having to die and still get your kill streaks. Because like I've said before, I don't believe the kill streaks or score streaks, whatever you want to call them, are are worth what they cost on this game. So why not get them as easy as you can? So as for how to play with this gun, there with this gun. Now, as you can see at the beginning of this game, it doesn't start out that well for me. I'm seven seven at the minute that's all going to change and we're going to go on like an 18 kill streak or something like that so how to play with it is as i do in this video basically you want to play aggressively you want to keep moving as much as possible for the most part obviously i, I don't do it so much in this map because of how the map's designed but you want to stick to the outsides of the map and try and keep your battles to close to medium range because that's where you're going to be at the most effective um, in terms of how to use the gun, I would say personally if you're at close range, even to an extent medium, fire off the hip because you've already got the advantage of the speed you're moving. Why not add to that by firing off the hip like you're in there and strafe firing as you go just to present a more mobile target which is the whole point of this class is to be mobile. You want to keep moving and keep hit basically hip firing you'll see it when I go on, I'm on this streak now this is the beginning of the streak and you will see that I don't really do a lot other than hip fire if it's up close I just hip fire and strafe and that's the best way to use this gun it's how to make it most effective and as you'll see it is very effective when played with in the right way and obviously with a little bit of concentration which I didn't have at the beginning of this game anyway they'll run through that class setup again for you just so that you can uh, recap what it was it's the grease gun in the airborne division unlike with certain other guns i do recommend using the suppressor on this gun because it doesn't really seem to affect it negatively in my opinion um so it's the airborne division for the grease gun with rapid fire and steady aim as our attachments basic training is requisitioned as for a sidearm or secondary i really have no preference i just use whatever i decide at the time because for the most part i don't use the sidearm if i do get caught out like that then i've normally picked up someone else's weapon or i just use whatever i've got to hand i have no preference so basically whatever you're comfortable with as the sidearm as for the lethal i've gone for the frag grenade it's really up to you um but that's all I've got for this video. Stick around to watch the rest of this gameplay because, like I say, I'm in the middle of a kill streak here. We're at 10 and it's only going to go up from there. I hope you enjoy. If you do, leave a like. If you haven't done it already, hit the bell for notification when my latest video is up. And if you're new, subscribe for more Call of Duty videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.